<laughs> it is kind of distasteful and upsetting to be discussing the West Indies team at this time of good chair. <laughs> but I don't care. The truth that the people need to hear is that the West Indies is the worst team out there. <laughs> but seriously, we good at T20. We are bad and getting worse at test cricket. But in the 50 over format of the game, from the selectors to the players on the field, West Indies don't know what they're no. <laughs> Somewhere, somehow, the selectors get it into them head that because we are so brilliant at the short, explosive T20 format, where we are two-time world champions, the thinking is that we must play 50 overs cricket like an extended T20 game. <laughs> so then full the team of half good all-rounders who bat little bit and bowl little bit. <laughs> With all due respect, how in God's name is Jason Holder batting at number five in a one-day international team? <laughs> that that means the team start from four wickets down. They don't understand that a 50 over per innings game is a whole day of cricket. So you need five or six specialist top order batsmen who can bat properly. And then you need four specialist bowlers who can take wickets. The bits and pieces approach works in T20, but it don't work in 50 over cricket. And that is why the West Indies are ranked at number 9 out of 12 in ODI cricket, ahead of Zimbabwe. <laughs> <laughs> that is why they miss out on qualifying for the ICC World Cup. And despite that embarrassment, the bits and pieces approach continues. I think the selectors have bits and pieces brains. <laughs> You know what? Sit them love bits and pieces. Sit some pizza. Sit some pizza. Sit some, some pieces. Bits and pieces. Bits and pieces. Bits and pieces. Bits and pieces.